Hey guys, Alan here, 79 Woodworks. Uh, today, I just picked this up at Walmart. It's the Hart brand stack system. Um, I've been looking at this for a while now. Um, it's on rollback right now at Walmart for $74. Uh, it's normally, I think, 80 for this set here. Uh, again, I'm not sponsored by Hart. This is just, uh, I bought this for my own money. Uh, I wanted to give it a try. I've watched some other videos about this. Um, now, it's similar to other brands, uh, pack out systems like Milwaukee, Rigid, DeWalt, uh, things of that nature. Most all of them have their own type of tool storage system. Uh, it has a handle here with wheels uh, so you can, you can roll it around, you know, to job sites. Um, around in your shop, which is what I, I intend this to be, uh, with maybe the occasion of taking it, you know, somewhere if I'm doing something in a customer's house. Um, the main reason I got this <clears throat> was I've got uh, tools that I don't use on a regular basis, uh, but they're just scattered about, so I wanted something that I could uh, put those tools in uh, to ha have them organized and all in one place, that way I know exactly where they are, where they are at, uh, so I can get to them easy. Um, it comes with now. It's about you can you can buy just this piece here with the the wheels and everything, and it's a little cheaper. Um, but this set here comes with the large tool tote storage, the medium, and this piece here has uh, storage bins that can come out. And so you can put, uh, you know, screws, uh, nails, tacks, uh, just whatever you, that will fit in these bins. Or you can just take them out and use the whole thing if needed. Um, I have not opened it yet. I was leaving it for this video so we can open it together. Uh, so, uh, it, has this uh, here on the front of it when you get it and it shows all the different pieces that you can get to go on it uh, and the different ways you can configure it. Now the only addition that I've got was this addition here. This is a two drawer system, has a handle on the top and as you can see it has the tabs the same as what's on the system so it will actually go in and lock in place on uh, the system. Uh, but the reason I got this one is, if you can see, unlatch it here, bring it down, it has two slide out drawers to put tools in. Uh, and I'll probably use it for like pliers, screwdrivers, things like that. Uh, it comes with dividers. It has sections in it. Uh, to where that you can pop these in and divide and it also comes with this nice uh, sticker you can put wherever um, this one by itself is like $39 and some change uh, so and they have another one that has it's similar to this but instead of two pull out drawers it has three clear um, pull out that come out all the way of uh, individual bins too. It comes with the dividers and you can put all all kinds of different little small compartment storage. Um, I really don't need that piece because I've got some other systems that I use that particular stuff for, but I did want the drawer thing for, for my needs. Um, So we'll get this open right here and we'll start taking a look at it and see what we think about it. It's heavy duty zip tied together because this, like I said, this is a complete system. All right. Now, first off, just preliminary. It seems, you know, pretty sturdy. Um, course you know you'll get a lot better quality plastic or polymer and some of the more other brands uh, like 
DeWalt roving or rigid and um, Milwaukee, things like that. Um, it doesn't have any way to put any type of attachments on the side. So if that's something you're looking for uh, in a storage system like this, then this may not be the one for you. Um, it is cheaper. And that's one reason why I went to this is because it is cheaper than most of the other brands. And for me, it's just going to be something that's going to be in my shop um, just to keep tools organized and stored. So I'm not going to be like taking this on job sites or anything like that, except for maybe on occasion. Uh, so I didn't want to spend a ton of money on a more expensive system. Um, I think this one right here will, will get the job done for me. Uh, so anyway, we'll start. So it's got these tabs here. This is what locks each component into the other component. And all you do is you just pull them out and it pops out. And now this one comes out and can be removed. Uh, same goes with this one. I can remove it. Now, the bottom one, the main one, is fixed to the handle. You can't remove it from the handle. It, it stays put the way it is, which is fine. So, it's got nice, heavy duty uh, plastic latches uh, with a metal U uh, shaped system here. It opens up, stays up. It's got large capacity in here. Um, looks big enough. You can put routers in or in here. Uh, reciprocating saw. Uh, just about anything bigger size you can put in this. Um, it feels real good. I'm not saying it's better quality than some of the higher more brands because I know it's not but to me for my purposes I think this is gonna work really nice you can see it just latches it's got good hard steady latch it's not gonna come open the handle and everything it's got this little button right here and you just press it and it comes right down it stays in place until you press it and releases it pulls it all the way up now this piece here is metal handles plastic this piece here is plastic but the, the metal part of the handle frame is or the frame of the handle itself is metal uh, it looks like you could possibly remove yeah, you can remove this frame if you didn't want to use the handle. It's got two screws right here on either side. I think if you remove those out, you could probably remove this whole handle. I'm not going to do that, but that's that's what it looks like. All right. Set that to the side for the moment. Now, this is your medium storage box that goes on top of that one. Same construction on the, on the latches. Good, strong. Heavy duty. It has your tabs to lock in another piece on top of it. Uh, this one has a handle where you can pick it up when it's closed to put it wherever you need it and move it around. Uh, plastic is handled, but it has this kind of bluish rubber uh, feel to it. It's very comfortable. Uh, it's not, not uh, overbearing in your hand. This one opens up. Now this one comes with a tray. So you can move to either side, depending on what your needs are. Or you can take the tray out and just use it as a complete storage box. Pretty nice. It latches into place. Same deal when you put these back on. Anytime you put these systems back on. Now these tabs are, are friction fitted. Uh, it's got like a little, 
um, little bit of a raise right here. If you can see right there, there's a bluish spark, kind of like a kind of like a nipple right there. And then this one's empty. And of course, when you push it forward, it frictions and locks into place. But uh, you can take this one. It's got these tabs right here, along here, and you have indentions in this top part. And those slide in toward the bag, put it down, push the tabs forward, and now it's locked into place. And it's not going anywhere. Uh, the other piece that comes with this is, is this one here. It's got the storage compartments in it. Same type of latches, but they're a little they're a little smaller than these. They're about maybe half that size. You got uh, clear plastic here. That way you can see what's in each bin. That way you don't have to guess where something is. Also comes with a sticker. You can put this wherever you want. And... can see there is a divider right in the middle here and it has a um, kind of a dip in it all the way through and you can put little bitty stuff pencils pens um, anything small and skinny that will fit in there you can put right in there that way it's not uh, floating around um, with the trays that go in here as you can see on the plastic it has indentions around the open the windows and then when it's closed it won't nothing will shake around so you won't have to worry about your stuff falling and bleeding into the other side or another tray or whatever it'll hold them all secure and locked in uh, each bins come out so you got one two three four five six seven eight you got eight bins just like this little bitty individual bins and you have two longer uh, bins put whatever and they also have uh, the tray indentions on either side so I guess I guess you could try and you know put two different things in here but uh, those more likely will bleed over into the next one as far as in this one Bean. Or you can take them all out and just use both sides however you want it to. Or you could do half, have one half with the trays and the other half with other stuff. You know? And you know that's what I like. It's customizable. You can you can configure it to, to suit your needs. I'm gonna put the trays back in. Close the latches. Uh, again, like the, the top one, it's got a plastic handle. It's real, real hard, sturdy. Also has that rubber piece to grip. Feels real good in the hand. And as you can see, it holds them in good. There's no rattle other than just the, the lid itself rattling, but the trays themselves are in place and they're not they're not going anywhere. Um, you lock this one in the same way. Put it down, slide it to the back. Push your tabs forward, and it's locked into place. And it's not going anywhere. This one also has tab two. You can put anything else you want to that this system will allow. Uh, they also make a smaller uh, system. It's similar to this but it's half this size and it'll just lock in and get two of them. The trays, the bins in it are a little bit smaller. Um, use that for basically anything too, screws, nails, tacks, whatever the case may be. Uh, you can put one or two of them. You can stack them up as high as you want, you know, as much, much as you're willing to, to carry on it. So 
I'm going to take this one off. But before I do, so let's discuss the. Uh, it tells you about each one of the different things, if you can see it, the different uh, attachments you can get. Um, and then this here tells you, you know, how you can configure it. Of course, you don't have to do it exactly this way. You can do it however, whatever it suits you. So, number one, which is this bottom one, is a 21-inch cart, as it's called on here. Uh, number two, which is your medium one, is a 21-inch toolbox. Uh, number four, which should be this one, uh, or no, excuse me, number three uh, on here, it's a 21-inch organizer. So... It's 21 inches this way. Uh, that's how wide it is. And let's get a tape measure and we'll we'll see how uh, what the depth and everything is on it. So from side to side, 21 inches. But what it's referring to is this handle piece here. All the way to this handle piece here is 21 inches. The actual dimension width of the box is probably going to be, uh, looks like about 18 and a half to 18 and three quarters, somewhere in that in that range. Um, actual width. Uh, let's see about the bottom. Bottom one's a little bit wider. It's probably closer to 19 inches, or right at 19 inches. Uh, but the 21 inches is referring from the, the side piece to the other side piece on top of the lid. Now, let's flip it around. We'll see about our, about how wide this way. So your bottom one is about 12 and a half inches. This one's about the same, and this piece is about 12, it's about 12 and a half to maybe 12 and a quarter. It's about, about, about the same. Um, not too bad, not too bad. So I was hoping it gave, um, the uh, the amount of cordage or whatever that, that they would hold, but it's not giving me that. How much storage space is actually on the inside? Uh, but it's not it's not telling me that on on this. Uh, it does say it has a hundred pound loading capacity, so you should be able to load it up up to a hundred pounds, and it and it worked fine. And that's what it points to on the bottom box. So I'm assuming you can put up to 100 pounds in just the bottom box and everything still functions properly with, with the wheels and, and the handle and everything. So uh, let's take this piece here off. And we'll unlatch this one. Since this is a smaller box, we'll do it first and see exactly how much weight now this box will not the lid will not stay open with the handle fully extended so I'm going to drop it down and then now it'll open and stay so let's see what the depth is looking at about eight and a half inches deep Tray here. About two and three eighths, two and a half inches deep. About eleven inches wide. And then of course the middle is kind of indented. So from here, it's about eight and three quarter inches, and the middle is about seven and three quarter inches. Now this is outside to outside measurements. Um, inside, well, we'll do the inside too. Why not? 
the inside about seven and roughly seven and five eighths inch seven and three quarter inch um, and of course same here and then this part would be about a six and three quarter inches from inside inside your box here um, about 18 and a half inches from the inside edge to the both inside edges uh, of course, you got a little indention here because of the, the side and how it's made. Let's take this one off and we'll see about the big box. Three eighths is your inside dimension, and your depth. If you do it from the very bottom groove, the very lowest point inside the box, because it it does have grooves in it. Uh, but if you do it from the very lowest point, you're looking at about twelve and three eighths inch deep. So. Is it as big as some of the other more expensive brands? No, uh, but like I said, for, for the my purposes of what I'm using it for, I think it's gonna work just fine. So I'm gonna connect this and this one back. Now we're gonna Move on to and put this tray back in here. Right. Now for the additional piece that I bought, the the two drawer system. See if I can angle this down a little more so y'all can get a little better look. Yeah, there we go. All right. So it comes with the same deal, same piece of paper that the, the system came with. Uh, the only difference is it's just got the toolbox organizer for its particular thing on here in addition. is called a two drawer toolbox um, like I said this is this is separate it does not come with the system and uh, like the other ones it's got a handle on it plastic got the rubber feel this one's kind of heavy but it's because it's got the drawer slides and everything in it uh, makes it a little more heftier um, got real good resistance on the handle it's not floppy or anything feels real good uh, it's got this latch here uh, if you can see uh, that holds both drawers from sliding out by accident and you got this little turn tab right here you just turn it and it opens up and gives you access to the drawers uh, this one has a hole in here you can see it Right there, you can put a padlock on it uh, and keep it locked up so that way nobody can get access to it. Uh, the bigger systems also have a lock, uh, have a hole too, so you can put padlocks on these if you want to keep them locked up, keep people from getting into your stuff. Right. So like I said, this one has grooves in it to put these dividers. It comes with a whole array of dividers so you can customize it however you want to. Um, and just like all the other things, it also comes with a, a sticker that you can put wherever. And the drawers feel really good. They slide real smooth. I mean, it doesn't, it's not, you know, like on a Craftsman toolbox or something like that, but it, it, it glides real, real good. Real smooth operation. Um, it's got, looks like ball bearing style, uh, sliders on it. Show those to you, you can see, and they're metal. Um, uh, I 
I mean, I'm just first preliminary looks. I'm really impressed with it. Um, for the money, I think it's good quality uh, for, for the amount of money you spend on it. Um, like I said before, is it going to be, is it going to hold up or be as good as some of the more expensive brands? Only time will tell. Um, after I've had it a while and used it some, um, maybe after a few months, close to a year, uh, I might do a follow-up video uh, just to show you how well I've, um, it's held up and uh, how well I've enjoyed using it and if it seems to be working for, for what I need. Uh, but I feel like it will be. So what my plan is to do, how I'm going to configure this system for me, is I'm going to keep the, the large box and the medium box just like they came. But the top one, since it's got the clear uh, on it and it's got the individual storage things, for me it doesn't make sense to have it here and this on top. Uh, because then I'd have to constantly remove this to get to that if I needed something out of it. So what I plan on doing is putting the two drawer system up here. And then this piece up here. And then that way I've got access to my drawers. And I've got access to this without impeding between these two. So, and there again, you can always take one off or remove it. But majority of the time for me, it's going to sit just like this. Unless I need to get something out of one of these. And then, of course, you just remove whichever piece you need to to get to it. Um, but I'll probably put tools that I don't use that often into these two boxes here and then things that I probably will use fairly often like screwdrivers, pliers, things of that nature into the drawers and then whatever small items I need to go in here I'll, I'll put up here. So yeah um, again I'm not sponsored by Hart. Uh, some of y'all that seen a couple of my videos uh, I've, I've got several Hart tools. Uh, I like Hart brand tools. Uh, everything that I've had has worked good for me uh, and has held up very nicely. Um, I do still have a 10 inch Hart uh, corded miter saw. Um, I've been meaning to do a video on it. I just hadn't had a, a good enough opportunity to do it yet, but uh, that will be something in the future that I will get uh, made for y'all. Uh, but yeah. If, if you're in a need of, of uh, if you're on a budget and in a need of some kind of tool system that's portable, highly recommend you check this out. Uh, is it for everybody? Probably not. Uh, but for somebody like me that's on a budget and not needing something that I'm going to have to tote around all the time, I think this will be very, very well and hold up very well and suit me for, for what I'm going to use it for. Um, again, I'm not sponsored by Hart. I bought this with my own money, and uh, this is my honest review of the unboxing of it. Uh, and I hope that this video helped y'all out. Um, I don't have any other type tool systems to show you or to compare, but there's plenty of videos out there that you can check out. So if you would, please help me out with this channel. Please like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so that you know when new videos come up. And we'll check you out on the next one.